When Prince Harry announced his engagement to American actress Meghan Markle, it put the media and fans of the royal family in an absolute state of awe-filled chaotic wildfire. Stylish, talented, bright, and beautiful, Meghan became an immediate superstar and crown jewel in her own right. It was the second royal wedding to an American since Edward VIII's scandalous morganatic betrothal to Wallace Simpson that more or less led to his eventual abdication, and the first royal marriage to one of African-American descent. Despite being American, a commoner, and one of mixed ethnicity, it might come as a surprise to some that Meghan sports her own royal pedigree and is actually a distant relation to husband and soon-to-be father to her own royal brood. As I said, distant relation, not the close creepy kind favored by royals of the distant past, as well as the, well, recent past. I'm Johnny from Mortern Ivy, and this is the Duchess of Sussex's Royal Roots. For this presentation, bear in mind, solid lines indicate a direct relation, while dotted lines signify an abbreviated relationship consolidating multiple generations. Through her father, Thomas Wayne Markle, Meghan is 21st great-granddaughter to Edward III. She descends from Edward III's third son, Lionel Vantorp, the Duke of Clarence. From Lionel, this family link descends from Philippa of Clarence, and Philippa's great-great-granddaughter Elizabeth Wentworth. Elizabeth Mortimer is the granddaughter of Meghan's ancestor Isabel Hildyard, but also Jane Seymour, the third wife of Henry VIII and mother to Edward VI, who died in childbirth to the boy king. Meghan is Seymour's first cousin, 15 times removed. This line then follows through the Skepper, Merrill, Smith, and Drake families to Meghan's grandmother Dora Sanders and Monard Day. The current line of British royals descends from Edward's second son, John of Gaunt, passing through Henry VII and his daughter Margaret, Mary, the Queen of Scots, and on through the houses of Hanover and saxe coburg -Otha. As you may have noticed, this dotted line from James VI and I connects to both Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip, as they are both direct descendants of Queen Victoria, and thus Henry VII and Edward III, etc. Meghan's royal roots don't end at England's northernmost border, either. The royal bride traces her lineage to Scotland's hero king, Robert the Bruce, who defeated England and gained independence for Scotland in 1314 from, guess who, Edward III. This line descends through wine merchant Roger Shaw, who emigrated from London to Plymouth, Massachusetts around 1637. His ancestor, James Shaw, married Christian Bruce, sometimes stylized Christina, in Yorkshire in 1490. Christian was the daughter of St. David Bruce. <laughs> saint. He's a saint now. Christian was the daughter of Sir David Bruce, 6th Baron of Clackmannan, and a direct relative of King Robert. The Barons Clackmannan were of certain Bruce descent, and King David II of Scots referred to Thomas Bruce, Meghan's ancestor, as the senior most member of the clan. But historians disagree exactly how. He is referred to as a distant cousin, an illegitimate brother, and even illegitimate son to Scotland's warrior king. All of this goes to show that maybe, just maybe, Meghan's style, pose, and skill as a recently branded royal isn't so much a spontaneously developed talent as in fact a genetically inherited trait. But that's rubbish in it. While it's fun to trace genealogical lines to important historical figures, by doing so, we overlook the fact that we have the biggest hand in our destinies. Our progenitors play a valuable part in our existence, our genetic makeup, and our family ties. But in the end, the ball is in our own court, and what we do with it is up to us. The Duchess herself points out the ironies of descending from both royalty and slavery. In an essay for Harper's Bazaar, she says of the latter, Perhaps the closest thing to connecting me to my ever-complex family tree, my longing to know where I come from, and the commonality that links me to my bloodline, is the choice that my great-great-great-grandfather made to start anew. He chose the last name Wisdom. He drew his own box. I've been Johnny. You're always welcome in my neck of the woods. <laughs>